Hello and good morning. Um, today we have a project so we can get the other projects. This little Miller Blue Star welder has been sitting here for uh, a long time and of course it does not run currently so um, today we're gonna go about the process of getting this thing running and working and hopefully get us all back up and going good um, <laughs> it's missing a battery so we're gonna have to borrow a battery from probably from this tractor here and hope that we can get it going again uh, I need to run back to the house and get a get the battery charger we may end up being able to rob a battery off of something else here or by chance get one of the others to charge up but uh, anyway this is what we're up to today um, gonna have to drain the old gas out and make sure the fuel filter is still flowing stuff like that little odds and ends obviously it is an electric start but we do actually have the you can wrap a rope around the pulley there and crank it that way if you have to uh, may try that too I don't know we'll see just to get it going so I can use it for today but anyway guys uh, you know again and as always we got plenty to do around here so uh, yeah I'll get back with you in a minute like I said I gotta go grab a charger and get it set up so we'll talk to you again shortly alright we got two chargers working on two different batteries this one center of frame is a six volt battery that I have use for for uh, a little 961 Ford tractor that's back at the house and that's 12 volt I'm hoping to breathe life into for the welder um, we've got as I said we're gonna drain the fuel make sure the fuel filter flows good and everything um, let's see what do we need to drain the fuel with oh, just a screwdriver all right so anyway let me find a bucket and then we'll get the fuel drained all right so um we got our fuel drained here i just took the hose off of the tank completely and drained it and that's all that came out which is not really a bad thing that just means that the tank that's just that's that's a that's actually a good thing that means it's not all gummed up at least um took the entire fuel line off as you can see and uh anyway check my angle here all right now i know where i gotta be so as i said we took the entire fuel line off and now we just got to check and make sure that it is clear because I think we had about a line full and that was it. So make sure this filter is clear. Seems to be I could blow air through it anyway. And uh, we are also working on charging batteries over there. Uh, it's probably only been five minutes but we'll see if that one 12 volt is actually taking a charge or not it only had like three and a half volts in it before so uh, we'll see what we got here in just a second lead off there and see if it gained anything or not hmm. 
it's got 10 volts in it already. This one might actually still be good. All right, so let that charge again for a while. Um, again, it's, uh, I don't even know how old this battery is. I have no idea. The paper's all worn off of it. So I'm guessing it's pretty old, right? <laughs> but anyway, we're going to be cranking a single cylinder to come to the engine, so it shouldn't be all that bad to do. Um, even if it half works, it'll be better than nothing. So, uh, next step I'm going to do anyway is check the air filter. Make sure it doesn't have a bee's nest or mouse nest or something in it. If it'll come off. And everything looks to be pretty good there. There is some stuff on the filter. If I can get it out of the housing. Which is spider nests. Yay, spiders. Anyway, I'm going to knock all the crud off the outside here. Just to be certain that we're not going to suck it full of something that we don't need to suck it full of. Oh, more spider nests in there. Cool. So now pretty much all we got to do is uh, put some gas in it, wait for the battery to charge up. Or well, I should put the fuel line back on probably before I put gas in it. Which is pretty easy to do. So, yeah, we'll get back to you in a bit. All right, so another step to add to the process check the engine oil. That's right on the end of the stick, so I'm guessing. I don't know if you guys can read it or not, but it says that's not okay. So, add some oil. This is some uh, no-name, probably rural, oh yeah, rural king, 38. But, uh, let's face it, it's an old, ancient Tecumseh. If it's going to run, it's going to run. There's nothing, you know, no oil is probably going to change that too much. <sighs> oh, I'll just use my hands for now. Put about half a quart in there now, so I'm hoping it's full. I can't see it holding too much more than that. Which means it probably does. safe range so I'm going to call that good until we actually get it started anyway we'll get some gas in it see what the battery does and we'll get... all right guys so uh, I got some fuel in our little welder there um, we're just kind of waiting on a battery worst comes worst we'll just use that one for getting it going um, 
anyway the uh, that one the this one here I know it's junk this one got it on charge right now it'll probably be if we'll, we'll find out whether it's all right or not and my six volt is taking a good charge though so that's good I need to get that little Ford going so I have something to lift stuff with. It's got a little uh, little old loader on it. I've also got another 12 volt here. Um, so now we wait. Alright, so we have our uh, new, well it ain't new, but it holds a charge battery in the welder. Um, well, let's see if she cranks or not. Ignition on. Start. Uh oh. That's not good. Battery's no good either. Holds a 12 volt charge, but not actually doing anything. So let me get back here to my. Alright, so I took the battery off the C here just for good measure. And uh, let's see what happens now. See if we're getting any spark. Got a new plug. <clears throat> Newer plug, anyway. Excuse me while I hillbilly rig this thing, trying to make it see if we can see a spark or not. Uh, I'll just have to use that instead. <laughs> Got plenty of fire. Got plenty of spark, just not getting something right here. Take this filter off and see what we got going. Sounds like old cruddy gas. Yay!
wonder if I got any starting fluid laying around. Let me go look. Alright, so I have a very tiny amount of starting fluid. Let's see what happens. clean the carburetor. I know I'm not very enthused by that. Because it also has a fuel pump on the carburetor. see it picking up any fuel so yeah all right we're gonna have to clean the carburetor looks like anyway um, so yeah more fun stuff all right guys so just for uh, verification purposes I took an old rag here and soaked it in gasoline which is uh, also, just a really good way to start in it to see if you've got uh, fuel issues or not. The important part, though, keep your hands on it. So we definitely have fuel problems. Um, so I'm going to have to take that carburetor off and clean it. And then... Uh, throw it back on there and see if we can get it to run uh, this is also an excellent alternative to starting fluid for a diesel if it's cold and the diesel won't start that is an excellent way of doing that in a pinch but uh, yeah anyway guys we'll uh, pick this back up all right so hook it off uh, took it all apart, cleaned it out. There was some rust or something in here, which is your fuel pump. And of course, just everything in general inside the carburetor was all gummed up. So hopefully, we'll have it going here shortly. Uh, it all moves a little bit freer now. The throttle actually kind of moves like it's supposed to. Before it would actually stick, this little spring here wasn't enough to bring it back. So, uh, hopefully we didn't damage any gaskets or anything. I didn't see where anything looked ripped or torn. So, uh, yeah. Let me stick this back together the rest of the way. I've got to put the air filter plate back on it and uh, get it mounted on the machine, get it mounted on the welder, and we'll see what happens after that. Alright, so we got it reassembled. And... Uh, Hopefully it'll start this time. We'll see. Whoa! Don't knock the camera over, dummy. Anyway. And about like that. Let's see what happens.
Apparently nothing. All right. I'm going to figure this out and I'll get back with you in a minute. All right. So, uh, in recap, we have a good engine. Uh, got good spark and everything. We can get it started. Gas on the rag. We're still not getting any fuel through the carburetor, however. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to figure something out here, folks. Um, probably going to have to try and do away with that fuel pump because I was uh, having some questions with that. It is like a vacuum operated fuel pump. So, we're going to have to. Uh, See if it's actually bypassing fuel through the diaphragm in said pump or see if it just completely does not work in which case um, probably just going to see if we can't gravity feed this thing in the interest of getting it going rather than uh, trying to find a carburetor kit for a fuel pump for it right off um, like I say, I really kind of need this thing to work right now. And so far, not so good. But anyway, we've got a uh, good start on figuring out what's wrong with it at least. Again, this is taking a while because I've been working on this and other things and everything else. And trying to clean up and what have you. But, uh, yeah. So, until another day. We'll get back to it. All right, so here we are back again to my little welder project. Um, now, I'll come to find out that this particular style of carburetor, I can't even remember the name of it off the top of my head right now, but it has a low idle jet and a high idle jet. So those were... Uh, the let's see I cleaned the high idle jet thinking it was like a normal little single barrel carburetor but it was not so we had to do this one which is your low idle jet um, we got all that cleaned out and it uh, I already did start it once but anyway we'll start it up again just for good measure but uh, it actually runs pretty good now um, I figured it was just gummed up again. Um, I came to the conclusion after I turned the camera off the last time that uh, I took that uh, bolt off the bottom of the carburetor bowl and I had fuel there, but I wasn't getting any fuel into the engine, so we had to go back and re-clean the carburetor until now it works again. Let me crank it up and we'll show you. Starts up at high idle, goes down to low idle, and then I can flip the switch and it'll go back to high idle, so I think we're doing pretty good. say this thing sat for probably five years I would just that's just my best rough estimate um, but anyway a new battery some fresh gas and a cleaned carburetor and she's back to work 
Now, on to the two little things I need to do with that.